All right, let's go to a focus now on a follow up story from our Eastern Oregon series that Pat Doris brought to you earlier this year. He spent three days in the eastern half of the state talking to people about the greater Idaho movement and why many there want a divorce from the West metropolitan area. Now, as we've told you many times before, the greater Idaho idea is a moonshot, right? There's almost zero chance that it would garner the approval it would need to actually split from Oregon and become part of Idaho. But the biggest issue at the center of this movement, according to the folks that we heard from, was about lawmakers in Salem just not listening to them or understanding their way of life. And at the time, Governor Kotek's office assured us that she would visit that part of the state to hear from Eastern Oregonians in person. It may have taken a few months, but the governor did head out to Grant County last week as part of her one Oregon listening tour. She's now visited 20 of Oregon's 36 counties, but we were especially interested in her visit to Grant County and specifically the city of John Day. That's where several of Pat's Eastern Oregon reports were based out of. One of the people that Pat spoke to in John Day was a woman named Shannon Adair, the owner of a downtown brew pub called 1188 Brewing Company. Well, it turns out that Governor Kotek and First Lady Amy Kotek Wilson had lunch at that very spot during their visit. So we got back in touch with Shannon to ask how it went with the governor and the First Lady and her takeaways from their lunch together. Well, Shannon mentions a fire, and that's because her brewery was damaged by a blaze that also burned several shops in downtown John Day back in April. Shannon wrote back to us saying they were very approachable, and Governor Kotek asked several questions about the fire, as well as our rural area from housing to volunteer firefighters to water and wastewater infrastructure. She was easy to talk to and listen to everything we brought up. She went on to say, as far as whether she can do anything to help, well, time will tell. There were no visible negative reactions to her that I saw. Really, it just felt like a nice lunch with nice people who were interested in hearing what we had to say. After lunch at the Brew Pub, the governor toured a construction area to talk with people in Grant County about efforts to increase housing production through 3D home printing. And following her visit, the governor released a statement of her own that reads, It's been great to learn from our rural and frontier communities about what they're looking for from Salem and the creative solutions they've developed to get us to where we need to be. I look forward to continuing these conversations and bringing these lessons back with me to the Capitol. So now we want to know what you think about the governor's listening to her. Do you think there's real value in what she's doing touring the state or is it all political spectacle? Maybe you're a little skeptical thinking it's more for show. So let us know. Send an email to the story at KGW.com or you can call and leave us a voicemail at 503-226-5090.